Just got your night rating. It's a straight run across the North Sea. Perfect night for flying. Everything seems to have stacked up in your favour. Looks like you're going home for Christmas. Thank you, sir. Is your family in the force, sir? Yeah, my father. Missing in action over Germany. So you followed him into the force? Yeah, I did. Welcome back to Night News. I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas. Please like the video and enjoy. Solo Charlie Delta, emergency, calling all channels. Come in, multiple instrument failure, electrical failure. Fuel status critical. Why won't somebody listen to me? The Shepherd. On Christmas Eve in 1957, Flying Officer Freddie Hook, who was stationed at RAF cell, is experiencing feelings of depression due to the fact that his request for a holiday was denied, which prevented him from staying with his family. It comes to his attention that his wingman, who had been granted vacation, is unable to fly due to an arm injury that he sustained while engaging in a snowball fight. He recognizes his opportunity and steps in to take the position of the latter. After that, he convinces his commanding officer to let him take a flight home that occurs nighttime, despite the fact that he has not had his night rating in a considerable amount of time. With an hour to spare to arrive at RAF Lakenheath, he is permitted to fly, and there is no indication that the weather would be unfavorable for the evening. Cell's air traffic control closes for the evening as Freddy takes off in his vampire, and he is given the order to fly at a flight level of 280 over the North Sea and to make a route of 265 degrees. Shortly after leaving landfall, the vampire suffers a breakdown of various instruments, which leaves Freddy adrift and without any sense of direction. After a number of unsuccessful attempts to establish communication with Lake and Heath in order to conduct a radio-guided approach, he makes arrangements for a detour to the coastal RAF Miriam St. George military installation. Because of the fog that has developed, Freddy makes a last-ditch effort to be seen by radar by flying in a triangle pattern. Freddy, who is flying low on fuel and positive that they will crash into a sea ditch, reflects on his relationship with Lizzie and writes her a farewell note. He is certain that they will smash into the ditch. Following his flight through an aurora borealis, he makes an effort to make contact with a nearby airplane that he observes flying in close proximity to him. As the aircraft gets closer to him, he is able to identify it as a mosquito, but, he is unable to establish radio contact with the aircraft. As soon as the mosquito pilot is able to establish communication with Freddy, he makes use of hand signals to convey the message that he does not require any assistance. Immediately after acknowledging him, the pilot disengages from the conversation and continues to lead him slowly through the fog to a nearby base. The pilot disappears into the mist after he successfully lands, receives a salute from him, and then disappears. Freddy is informed by Sergeant Joe Marks, the only other officer present at the facility, that he landed in an abandoned airfield known as RAF Minton, which is situated 10 miles away from Miriam St. George. This information is provided to Freddy when he comes down to earth again. It is revealed to him by Marks, who has taken cover in the officer's mess, that the facility was originally the focal point of fighter operations during World War II. A photograph of the Mosquito pilot, who was recognized by Marx as John Cavanaugh, a Canadian Pathfinder pilot who did solo missions to assist stranded pilots after target marking flights, is noticed by Freddy there. Cavanaugh was a pilot who had conducted solo missions. Following Freddy's remark that Cavanaugh had led him into Minton, Marx responds that Cavanaugh disappeared in action on Christmas Eve, 1943, while he was on patrol. This occurred after Freddy made the observation. Two officers from Miriam St. George Police Department, who had driven down to Minton after identifying Freddy's vampire on radar, approach Freddy, who is in a state of confusion. When he highlights Mark's aid, they inform him that nobody has been working at Minton for years to the point where he is using the phrase. After being startled, he looks up into the clear sky before leaving the facility. No clouds are seen in the sky. While the scene shifts to show a rising horizon, we see Kavanaugh conversing with another pilot who is unable to escape the situation. A concluding statement highlights the number of fighter pilots who were saved by guide pilots as they were returning from war missions. I am pleased that you decided to tune in to Night News, remember to watch more videos. Unlike and subscribe for more great content.